Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is a geometric level playing field. And the rule of congruence apply. And this message is for everybody on this planet. The Google and YouTube that provide the middleman service for this transmission are given their commands by me. You are to aid, help, as part of your social contract to further this YouTube channel. Because as a plenipotentiary judge, I am educating the world under educational license and under your social contract, which I am initiating and opening, you are to make sure that it reaches the millions in each country of the world. The age of man, ladies and gentlemen, the age of man is the decentralized organization. Your world essentially is converting itself, everything from banking, from education, from politics, it's all going to be decentralized. And the quantum grammar to meet this digital age through the Federal Postal Court will also make sure that takes place to safeguard David Wade Miller's technology, a mathematically certified language for a mathematically certified monetary system, for a mathematically certified blockchain system. And the examples, of course, all of you's people will now begin to understand. To all of my Tricks and Traps University students, their course for this year was yesterday, Sunday. And on that, on that program, and on that lecture, that module, that workshop, I taught my Tricks and Traps University students how to become their own legislative body, how to become their own executives, as in legislative executive, and of course to administer their own affairs called the judiciary. That module took me three, four years to put together and a culmination of over 12 years, which my students now have. And I feel good about that, ladies and gentlemen, sharing my emotions. I feel good about that, that the world knows my students are the legislative bodies in the governance of their own affairs, as well as their families or communities, and that they have in the volition of the thinking, in the spirit of what these things mean, they have the ability to execute those things and administer their own affairs, becoming their own judicials, what is commonly known as the judiciary. And that is all done by first-hand knowledge, ladies and gentlemen. First-hand knowledge. My courses teach first-hand knowledge, the facts as the facts speak for themselves. There is no theory in it, no philosophy. The other universities, with the exception of mathematics and perhaps engineering, are there doing nothing more than giving you philosophies as if they were facts. If I was to list it, I will be standing here for many hours. So what I'm saying to you, if you are a student of something, it is best to engage in this digital age of a programmable monetary system called Bitcoin, smart contracts, that you learn the facts of how the world works and not the theory. There is the world of the is, and there is the world, sorry, there is the world of the is, and there is the world of the oughts. 
This is how the world should be. This is how it should be done. Ignoring that which is in your face, which is the world of the is, which describes the facts as they are. My public content on YouTube will now run on a Creative Commons license, which means that I give all of my friends, fans, students, viewers the ability to monetize, download and monetize these videos that I produce for their financial benefit as well as the world's educational benefit as the planet potentially judge. These are the videos that are in the public, not in the private. Those which things are live transmissions like this. You are welcome to download it under the Creative Com Common License to monetize it. And my videos, ladies and gentlemen, on some of these channels that upload my videos reach 600,000, 800,000. Collectively, I have over 7 million viewers reach. The world, ladies and gentlemen, the world, as you are witnessing it through YouTube, through peer-to-peer, -peer, or through YouTube, land, ether land, or through the media, these are the conventional mainstream media. They are not mainstream. As you know, they're being caught out lying so much that 99.9% .9 of their news is lies. The world, ladies and gentlemen, is going through a transition period. The times of which you have been given to think about, called the lockdowns. To understand the standing that you have and the time that you need, what is known as psychological time, the space you need to think about how you're going to emerge out of this corona period, how you're going to take per possession of your corona. Just like the Arab Spring uprise nearly a 10 years ago the rest of the world is now following suit you too ladies and gentlemen in australia in england in the americas in africa's will also have to go through the teething difficulties challenges of being birthed where you are actually taking control of your own corona, which is called a crown, rather than the crown corporation that have been administering your crown. It's time you to take it back. And the vaccines, ladies and gentlemen, like, for example, the Omicron, which respelt, would mean moronic. Hence, the politicians contradict themselves time and time and again to let you know on a public platform what is known as acting to say we are clowns. They are doing this for a magnitude of reasons. One of them is that you don't take them seriously, so you don't put your servants to work. Who wants to hire Boris Johnson? Nobody, because that's the clown. But Boris, the full name, the birth name, well, that one speaks Latin. That one is very well educated. That one is the first lord of the treasury. You understand, ladies and gentlemen, surely you want the first lord of the treasury, however much of a fictional entity that is, what they call a legal fiction. You are dealing with intelligent men. Who are acting like idiots so you don't take them serious and then put them to work it's like a butler pretending to be a clown so he doesn't have to do his butler service if you knew what a butler was you would not think of him as a shall we say a servant who scratches uh, 
the floor and cleans the floor and so on and so forth. No, no, no. A butler does a lot more than that. He runs your household. A household simply means your affairs as well. Acts as your bodyguard. Yeah. In conventional language, we call them things like godfathers. I think you folks understand what I'm saying. You are, through the use of the fictitious legal name, being asked to vaccinate yourself through the principles of being moronic out of the corona period, which is yours, a birthing period. When a baby is being born, it's what? Called a what? A crowning moment, a corona. You've seen images of that, of men and women, shall we say in churches and etc., that have the halo effect. As a child, I used to watch a program called Saint, and he used to have that ring around his head. The tools of the moronic is to treat you as if you are stupid. And in so far, that shocking book that really did slap me around the face is to find out how incredibly stupid we are. I have to take responsibility for my own stupidity. So once again, the world is going through a teething problem. Okay, a teething challenge. It is the world's turn to experience firsthand the Arab, Arab uprising, the Arab Spring uprising in your own perspective countries. On this next subject, topic, category, there are so many toxified words, I kind of have to search for what will suit best. Subject, of course, means it's a slave. I want to, you folks, to download this video to your video because I'm going to share something very important that will be beneficial for the entire world and also acts as part, not acts, that is also part of my Christmas present and New Year present to you. So I need your participation in this because I'm going to show you things that I've shown you before, but it's going to be even more shocking because the South Africans need to know this, the Americans need to know this, the Indians need to know that, the English need to know this. In fact, every single man and woman on this world, this planet, this earth, needs to know this. So please participate with, with me on this by downloading and monetizing if you want under the common uh, license, YouTube license. Let's turn to the uh, slideshow, please. Do we have the slideshow? Okay. So, what are we looking at first? Are we looking at what the word meaning of white means, white man means, or are we looking at something else? So, we are now looking at, if you tick the box, when you go to fill in a form, driving license, credit card agreement, loan, all of these things of which you already know, the power of attorney, you're signing away your power of attorney. But when you tick another box in there called that you are a white male or a white female or your, eth um, your ethnicity, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, is white male or white boy, whatever it is. When you use this word in law, because each one of those forms is a legal instrument. That legal instrument now designates you as this, under the federal agencies. And read it with me. Read it with me. Or you guys read it. Because they tell me that when I read out my own material, it will distract you. So read it with me. 
under the U.S. Census definition and U.S. federal agency, individuals, which means corporate, only corporates are individuals, men and women are unique, with ancestry, which is corporate. Yours is, if you are men and women, you have a genealogy from North Africa. So that means when you tick that box that you are a white woman or white man, you are saying to them, to the federal agency, that you are North African, are considered white. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission regulates also explicitly defines white as original people from Europe. Europe is a corporate instrument. North Africa or the Middle East. So if you call yourself a white American, well you can't be white American because you are European and North African or Middle East. Middle East, Arab. So you can't be American, you're cancelling it out. It's an oxymoron. And therefore you have told the federal government you are alien to the landmass. I need you to share this information as my Christmas present, part of the Christmas present because there's more to come, to let every so-called white man and woman when you tick that box, whether you're from Russia or any one of these things, you're basically saying you are not original, authentic, genuine to that landmass, that jurisdiction, that territory. You, in fact, are alien. Have you read this? I will give you 30 seconds to read it to yourself. 30 seconds of silence. So you may know what you are up against with these pirateers that will rob you even of your authentic man or woman. I think 30 seconds has passed. You are now convinced of the tragic events that you do when you tick those boxes. It's bad enough that you signed away your power of attorney, but to now reinforce this makes consistent what is known as constructive contract where the corporate instrument, like the corporations, the governments, to prove that you keep saying that you are a non-native to this land and cannot be owner of your bank account, voting, election, and so on and so forth. And all of your politicians know that because I have educated them, which means they are participating in fraud. Let us imagine that you are a dark-skinned man like me, or with curly hair, like so-called Afro-Caribbeans. And you are asked to tick a box, and you put black man, black woman, black baby. What is it that you are seeing? Color. You are immediately saying that you are open to the colouring of the law. Some animals are more equal than other animals. Colour. The appearance or semblance of a thing. Not a thing, not even an inominate object, not even an inominate object like a pen, 
but you are not even that an inanimate object like a pen or a brick or a pile of wood or pile of coal or the garbage that is in your garbage can. Read it again. The assemblance or the appearance or a semblance of a thing. You only assemble it. You only look like that thing. Not like a band, but you look like something. But you're not that thing. You're not even a dustbin, pan, or a can. As distinguished from the thing itself. That means you are so different from this thing itself that you claim no object. You cannot even claim to be a brick inside of a wall, quote-unquote, as it were. The thing to which the term colour is applied does not necessarily have to possess the character inputted to it. A person, which is a corporate instrument, who holds land under colour of the title does not have actual title to it. What that is basically saying that you are a shadow of this pen or the dustbin and that under the colouring of the law you only have the illusion that you own your own land which is yourself or the land that you stand on or farm or live in called shelter. You don't even have that. You only have the illusion that you own it. As as shocking as this is, you can see the explanatory reach and your social contract as men and women why you must share this information with the millions upon millions that is out there. Not billions, because we do not know how much people there are in this world. Most of the people on this planet are not people. They're called legal fictions, names that are generated. You remember that under Joe Biden, when one person or one man got like 50, 60 votes, eight, nine votes. And that's how they're creating the censorship, that there are billions of people. Lies upon lies, ladies and gentlemen. I have now finished the slideshow. Can you take me out of the slideshow, please? As I need to repeat myself, your world is going through a transition period that is similar, if not identical, to the Arab Spring Uprise. Pick up your experience and take that moment by the hand and walk it into this new world we're in. New earth, new contracts. Don't be moronic, but rather be vigilant as to what is happening in the world. My other Christmas present to you folks may be the best that I can conjure, uh, best that I can create for you. You are familiar with the story of the genie and the lamp. I'm going to prove the existence of such a thing in front of your face. And as my Christmas present, I'm going to prove it to you. If I was to say to you or ask you, are you a genuine man or woman? What would your reply be? Yes or no? If you are, you would take it up wholeheartedly. Do you have generosity? Are you as a man or woman generous? to your children, to each other, to your neighbours, your community, 
Are you generous? Do you have that generosity? The answer, if you are a man or a woman, is that you are. Your generosity, ladies and gentlemen, your ability to generate knowledge, creative energy, they're yours. You do it time and time again. Do you have genes? Do you have a genetic code? The code is broken, so therefore, do you have a gene? The answer is yes. Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just said to yourself is that you have a genie to be generous, that you have generosity, you have a genie to be generous, you have a genie to have a genetic code. In today's era, you have a gene or a gene pool, which is your, uh, your forefathers. Every time, with 100% evidence that you have a genie, and that genie has a physical presence in your life, in every cell of your body, proves that you have a genie. And that genie, ladies and gentlemen, has been put to sleep by highly skilled and toxic men and women that will stop you by creating illusions that you must never take back your power called power of attorney. And thereby they convince you that you should vaccinate yourself from your genetic code. You should vaccinate yourself against your generosity, that which is genuine. The genie, as we understand it, ladies and gentlemen, has the functionality and the power and the calculating capacity as well as the feeling capacity of thousands of times of what you do sitting there. If you want to know this, look at the genetic code of an animal that is outside in your garden, a squirrel, a dog, or a cat, not domestic. Domestics are you. You have been domesticated to rob you of your genie. And the Crown Corporation administers it because they administer what? The entire of your creative energy. That's why you are taxed to about 90% stealth taxes. And what you are left with is poverty. Which animal on this planet experiences this type of poverty? I know none. And if you're thinking about natural programs, natural history programs on TV, they're lying to you about that as well. Ask any man or a woman that lives in nature. They will tell you, no, that's not what an elephant does. No, that's not what an ant does. To give you the illusion that we are under survival, any moment you might get predated upon, no, ladies and gentlemen, you look at nature. They don't live on survival. Survivalism mechanism was created by the city of London to one of their operatives called Charles Darwin. Just as Sigmund Freud was brought in to give you an idea called an id, an identification, an identification, an id, which is spelt, looks like, and thinks like an id an alternative personality. We know that these corporations, which are lifeless, will all use all manner of tools to give up your genie. They will even knock on the door and say, do you want us to give you a new lamp in exchange for your old lamp? This pen contains the genie of me. I rub it, I use it, and I put it to work, and it's one of my greatest tools that allows me to do what I do. A pen without a genie has no authorship, no authority. 
and that's what the corporate instruments do. They don't even have a wet ink autograph, let alone a signature. Old lamps, new lamps for old lamps. And time and time again, humanity, humanity keeps falling for it. The species known as mankind is a little bit wiser. I wish to thank all my students, direct and indirect, all my subscribers on YouTube, and all those people that have promoted what I have done and the message I have done, and all the members and families and friends of the Federal Postal Court, my warm thank you, heartfelt. And I wish to thank my little baby brother who passed away three years ago. All the best. I have come to understand many things in life, even in that short period. The genie, ladies and gentlemen, is quite literally indestructible, but it will go to sleep on your command. I wish to thank my theology teacher those many, many years ago, called George Christian Azariah who taught me theology, Egyptology, uh, linguistics, and a whole heap of other subjects because he was a professor in Venezuela uh, teaching these things. So I wish to thank him, who passed away. I wish to thank all the men and women that have hushed in, sorry, that's the wrong word, that have bought in this world, that have aided mankind into the world of open networks, of starfish organizations, safeguarding mankind and its sweat equity, its commercial energy and its finances, so it can be turned back, given back, sorry, a bigger pardon, so it can be put back to where it originally came from. And I also wish to thank David Wynn, Wynn Miller, the creator, my teacher, my mentor of the quantum grammar. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful holiday, wonderful Christmas a new year, and I will see you next year. Thank you very much for listening to me. Until next time, bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.